Hello and welcome. So you're joining me here today for the fourth instalment of this Tom Clancy's The Division video series I'm doing. We will be setting the controls up for the Logitech G13 gamepad and the Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse using Logitech's gaming software. I've only just bought these two items so I've not had much of a chance to use them yet. This will be the first time gaming with them so I'm pretty excited. So firstly what I've decided to do is take a screen capture or even a screenshot will do fine uh, from the game. This will just make it a little bit easier when mapping the keys. So basically when you open up the software and click on the G key icon at the bottom this is what it looks like. At the top you have the profiles. If this is your first time opening the software you'll only have the default icon at the top. But as you can see I did a little bit of a test before um, just to mess around with. So when you open up a game, that game's profile should appear at the top, which it has done with Tom Clancy's The Division. Now firstly you need to add the commands. You do this by clicking the plus icon in the command box and your command editor will open up. Now press the keys you want to add, which in my case it's W, and then type in the name you want it to have, so for me this is forward, and then press add. Repeat this for as many controls as you need. OK, so I'll speed up the video now so you don't have to watch me doing all of them. OK, so now that's done, we need to add the commands to the keys. This is extremely easy, just simply click the command you want and drag and drop it over to the desired key. And to map the commands to the mouse, it's just as easy. Click on the mouse icon at the bottom and then click the little mouse with the two arrows. The same command menu will pop up with all your commands. And again, simply just drag and drop the command to the key of your choice. Again, I'll speed up the video so you don't have to watch me mapping all the keys. Now along the top of the keypad you have the M buttons. There are three that you can map commands to and the fourth, the MR key, is for adding quick macros. So all the commands I've been mapping have been to the M1 key. And if you select the M2 key you can add even more commands. I'm using these for things like shadow play and turning the overlays on and off just to keep them separate from the game controls. Another cool thing is that you can change the colours of the keys on the G13. So if you select M1 you can map any colour to this by using the sliders or one of the pre-programmed colours. Then if you select M2 you can create a custom colour for this as well. And what I do is for any M keys that I'm not using, I like to add this bright purple colour to it, just so I know if I've selected the wrong one by mistake, it will show up. Which is really useful, it stops me from hitting that key and just wondering why it's not doing anything. Okay, so that's it for this episode. I'll probably be doing a more in-depth look at this software later on, maybe once I've released reviews for the gamepad and mouse. And I'd also like to do a video on the Logitech Arts Control second screen software for your tablets and phones as this looks pretty useful. So don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date. There will be lots more videos to come in this Tom Clancy's The Division video series so stay tuned and I'll put the links to all those videos in the description below. Next time we'll be starting the gameplay for The Division so see you then.